Welcome to the heart of Accra, Ghana, where a monumental transformation is underway. Here, on a sprawling site at the city's vibrant West Ridge, the new corporate headquarters of the Bank of Ghana is taking shape. This ambitious project marks a significant leap forward in Ghana's quest to redefine its economic landscape. Since its establishment in the early 1960s, the original headquarters of the Bank of Ghana has stood as a beacon of financial governance. Yet, as decades passed, this iconic building could no longer meet the demands of modern seismic and wind load requirements, nor could it support the technological advancements essential in today's banking world. In response to these challenges and to safeguard its future, the bank embarked on a journey to create a facility that not only meets but exceeds the rigorous standards required for today's high-rise structures. The new headquarters, set to be a state-of-the-art building, is designed to withstand the toughest natural elements and stand as a testament to Ghana's resilience and forward-thinking mentality. Driven by a vision to position Ghana as a pivotal financial hub in the sub-Saharan region, this new edifice will house advanced technological infrastructures and eco-friendly systems, aligning with global standards for sustainability and efficiency. The project, uh, initiated in the wake of growing needs for a more robust infrastructure, is a bold stride towards future-proofing Ghana's financial sector. As we watch this new foundation rise, the Bank of Ghana sets a new standard for banking in Africa, secure, sophisticated, and ready to meet the challenges of tomorrow. Join us as we explore how this landmark project came to be and what it promises for the future of Ghana. The Bank of Ghana, established in 1957, has been the cornerstone of Ghana's financial sector, overseeing monetary policy and economic development throughout decades of change. From its early days post-independence, the bank has played a pivotal role in stabilizing Ghana's economy and fostering a framework for financial oversight and policy. As Ghana's economy expanded and the landscape of its capital, Accra, evolved, the Bank of Ghana's original headquarters, constructed during the vibrant era of the 1960s under the visionary leadership of Ghana's first president, Kwame Nkrumah, began to show signs of inadequacy. By the 1990s, it became evident that the growth of the central business district was quickly catching up to the bank's facilities, which were no longer fit to handle the increased demands of a modernizing economy. The necessity for a new headquarters was clear, driven not only by physical space constraints, but also by the need for a building that could support advanced technological infrastructures and security systems befitting the bank's central role in Ghana's economic governance. The search for a suitable new location began earnestly, with a vision to create a facility that would not only serve the immediate needs of the bank, but also symbolize the nation's economic aspirations on the global stage. This strategic move was part of broader efforts to position Ghana as a financial hub in the sub-Saharan region, anticipating future expansions and aligning with global banking standards. The decision to build a new headquarters was aligned with the bank's long-term vision to support Ghana's growth trajectory and maintain stability in the financial system. The new corporate headquarters of the Bank of Ghana is envisioned as a state-of-the-art facility tailored to meet the demands of modern banking and symbolize Ghana's stature in the global financial market. This architectural marvel is designed to encompass three main structures, each with its unique role but collectively reflecting the bank's futuristic goals. Tower Block. The centerpiece of the complex is the Tower Block, a 20-story skyscraper that pierces the skyline of Accra. This high-rise is not just a workplace, but a symbol of the bank's aspirations and commitment to financial excellence and stability. It will house key administrative offices and serve as the nerve center for the bank's operations, ensuring that decision-making and executive functions are carried out efficiently. Urban Block. Adjacent to the tower block, the urban block spans eight stories. This segment of the headquarters focuses on integrating the bank's activities with the public and the urban fabric of Accra. It includes facilities designed for public engagements, educational missions, and cultural exchanges. This approach not only enhances the bank's visibility, but also promotes greater interaction with the community it serves. The six-story amenities block is dedicated to supporting the well-being of the Bank of Ghana's staff and visitors. 
This block includes dining facilities, fitness centers, and recreational areas, reflecting the organization's commitment to holistic well-being. It's a space where employees can relax and rejuvenate, promoting a healthy work-life balance, which is crucial for productivity and creativity. Supporting structures, basements and podiums. The complex includes extensive basement areas and podiums that provide secure parking and technical spaces essential for the day-to-day -day operations of the bank. These areas are crucial, are crucial for logistics and security operations, housing everything from server rooms to maintenance workshops. Security and sustainability features. The headquarters are equipped with advanced security protocols and sustainable building technologies. It aims to achieve a green building certification, incorporating energy efficient systems, sustainable water and waste management practices, and smart technology to minimize its environmental footprint. The meticulous planning and strategic design of the new headquarters reflect the Bank of Ghana's role as a beacon of stability and progress in the financial sector, not just in Ghana, but across West Africa. The integration of advanced technology and sustainable practices ensures that the bank remains at the forefront of innovation while fostering a secure and productive environment for its employees and visitors. The construction of the new Bank of Ghana headquarters has been a complex endeavor marked by significant milestones and challenges that reflect the scale and importance of this project. The journey began with the strategic acquisition of land at West Ridge, a prime location in Accra, which was formerly owned by the state insurance company and compulsorily acquired by, by the government through an executive instrument to serve national interests. Initial planning and design. The planning phase was meticulous, involving extensive consultations and the development of a design that would not only the bank's operational needs, but also stand as a symbol of innovation and strength. This phase included the selection of contractors and the detailed architectural design, focusing on sustainability, security, and the integration of advanced technological systems. Land acquisition and preliminary challenges. Uh, one of the early challenges was the acquisition and preparation of the site. The land, having been acquired by executive order, required careful coordination with various government entities and the previous landowners to, to ensure a smooth transition. Following the land acquisition, extensive groundwork and site preparation were necessary to accommodate the ambitious scale of the project. Construction milestones. As of now, several significant construction milestones have been achieved. This includes the completion of major structural components such as the 13th floor slab and the upper roof slab. The construction team has successfully executed these critical phases amidst logistical and engineering challenges, ensuring that the building meets all required safety and design standards. Current status. Currently, the project is in an advanced stage with ongoing internal and external works. Mechanical, electrical, and plumbing installations are being fitted and, and the facade of the building is taking shape. Each element of construction is carefully managed to meet the projected completion date. Expected completion. The project is scheduled for completion in September 2024. As the construction progresses, each phase is closely monitored to adhere to the timeline, ensuring that the new headquarters will be ready to serve its purpose as a modern, secure, and efficient home for the Bank of Ghana. This meticulous approach to the construction of the new headquarters not only ensures the building's functionality and safety, but also its role as a centerpiece in Ghana's economic infrastructure, ready to meet the future demands of a growing nation. The architectural and design innovations of the new Bank of Ghana headquarters are pivotal elements that not only reflect the institution's modern outlook, but also its commitment to sustainability and resilience. Guided by the vision to meet international standards while emphasizing local expertise, the project integrates cutting-edge technologies and eco-friendly practices. The new headquarters is designed with sustainability at its core, aiming for EDGE certification. EDGE, Excellence in Design for Greater Efficiencies, is an international standard that encourages the development of buildings that reduce energy and water use as well as energy consumption in materials. The Bank of Ghana's new home will incorporate energy-saving lighting, water-efficient fixtures, and highly efficient HVAC systems to minimize its environmental footprint. 
These features are part of a broader strategy to ensure that the building is not only economically viable, but also environmentally sustainable. Seismic and wind load resistance. Given Accra's susceptibility to seismic events, the building design includes advanced seismic resistance technologies. These are intended to protect the structure and its occupants from earthquakes that may occur in the region. Similarly, the design accounts for significant wind loads and PSIC, a necessary consideration in high-rise construction. The engineering teams have integrated state-of-the-art damping and structural reinforcement techniques to ensure stability and safety against both seismic shocks and high winds. Role of Multicad The architectural vision of the headquarters was brought to life with the help of Multicad, a renowned Ghanaian consultancy firm known for its extensive experience in managing large-scale projects. Multicad was selected for its deep understanding of the local architectural and regulatory landscape, which has been critical in navigating the complexities of such a significant construction project. Their expertise in building information modeling, BIM, and project management has been essential in ensuring that the design not only meets aesthetic and functional requirements, but also complies with all local building codes and regulations. Multicad's involvement also highlights the Bank of Ghana's commitment to fostering local talent and expertise. By partnering with a Ghanaian firm, the bank not only benefits from localized knowledge, but also contributes to building the capacity of the local architectural and engineering sectors. The integration of these architectural and design innovations ensures that the new Bank of Ghana headquarters will be a landmark of sustainability and resilience, poised to meet the challenges of modern finance while contributing to the economic and environmental well-being of the region. This project stands as a testament to the successful collaboration between international design standards and local expertise, setting a new benchmark for future constructions in Ghana and beyond. The financial and strategic aspects of the new Bank of Ghana headquarters are critical to understanding both its immediate economic impact and its long-term implications for Ghana's position in the regional and global financial landscape. Financial scope and budget adjustments. The project initially estimated at USD 81.88 million saw a significant budget revision to USD 121.08 million. This adjustment was necessitated by a combination of factors including extensive design changes aimed at incorporating advanced technological and safety features and fluctuations in market conditions affecting construction materials and labor costs. Yeah. Design modifications were particularly driven by the need to meet higher standards for seismic resistance and sustainability to ensure the building's longevity and functionality amid changing environmental conditions. Additionally, the global economic climate characterized by inflation and exchange rate volatility particularly affected the costs of imported materials and equipment, which are substantial given the high standards set for the building. Strategic importance for regional finance. Financially, the investment into the new headquarters is seen not just as a cost, but as a crucial strategic asset for Ghana. The state-of-the-art facility is expected to significantly enhance the operational efficiency of the Bank of Ghana, enabling it to better fulfill its role at the helm of Ghanaian monetary policy and financial regulation. Strategically, the new headquarters is envisioned as a cornerstone in Ghana's ambition to establish itself as a financial hub in the sub-Saharan region. This vision includes potentially hosting the future regional central bank, a move that would underscore Ghana's leadership and stability in regional finance. The presence of such an institution would attract financial entities and multinational corporations, fostering a more dynamic financial ecosystem in Accra. Hosting regional financial institutions. The prospect of hosting a regional central bank would also position Ghana as a critical player in West African economic policy, potentially influencing monetary strategies and financial stability across neighboring countries. This role could lead to increased foreign investment and greater economic clout within the West African monetary zone, Bamzid, and beyond. The financial outlay for the new headquarters thus goes beyond mere construction costs representing a pivotal investment in Ghana's economic future. By bolstering its financial infrastructure, Ghana aims to enhance its appeal as a safe and robust environment for international finance and commerce, promising 
significant returns through increased economic activity and international stature. The new Bank of Ghana headquarters project is a substantial economic catalyst for the local community and the broader Ghanaian economy. The impact of such a large-scale construction project extends from immediate job creation to long-term economic growth and development. Job creation during construction. The construction phase of the new headquarters has been a significant source of employment for local workers. By employing hundreds of construction workers, engineers, architects, and administrative staff, the project has significantly contributed to reducing unemployment in the local area. The demand for skilled and unskilled labor has not only provided jobs, but has also helped in skill development for many individuals who will benefit from this experience long after the project's completion. Boost to local businesses. The influx of workers and the purchase of materials from local suppliers have provided a substantial boost to local businesses. Construction projects of this scale often require large amounts of materials, which are typically sourced locally to reduce costs and support the community. This has led to increased sales for local timber, concrete, metal, and other construction related businesses, injecting vital funds into the local economy. Long term economic benefits. The completion of the Bank of Ghana's new headquarters is expected to have several long-term benefits for the local economy. The state-of-the-art facilities will enable the Bank of Ghana to enhance its operations and services, which can help stabilize and grow the country's financial sector. Improved financial services and a stable economic environment attract both local and foreign businesses to invest more confidently and extensively. Attraction of international firms with advanced technological infrastructures and a modern architectural setup the new headquarters will be appealing to international firms looking to establish a presence in Ghana. This can lead to increased foreign direct investment and more international financial activities centered in Accra. Enhanced infrastructure. The development around the new headquarters can lead to improved local infrastructure, including roads, utilities, and public services, which benefits the entire community. Better infrastructure improves quality of life and can lead to further economic activities in the area. Increased property values. The area around the new headquarters is likely to see an increase in property values, benefiting property owners and stimulating the real estate sector. Cultural and social impact. Beyond economics, the project also contributes culturally and socially to the community. By incorporating public spaces and facilities designed for community use, the project helps in fostering a sense of community and belonging. These spaces can host cultural events, exhibitions, and public meetings, thereby enriching the local cultural life. In summary, the construction of the new Bank of Ghana headquarters is more than just a building project. It is a significant contributor to economic development, job creation, and the social fabric of the local community. It stands as a testament to the potential benefits of integrating large-scale corporate projects within the broader socio-economic framework of a region. As the construction of the new Bank of Ghana headquarters nears completion, the future vision for the bank and the expected regional benefits of this monumental project come into clearer focus. This new headquarters is not merely a building, it is a symbol of Ghana's robust development and its readiness to face the financial challenges of the future. Future vision for the Bank of Ghana. The new headquarters is designed to be a hub of innovation and efficiency. Uh, with state-of-the-art facilities, the Bank of Ghana aims to enhance its capability to manage the nation's monetary policy and oversee financial regulation with greater efficacy. The advanced technological infrastructure will enable the bank to implement more sophisticated systems for financial analysis, risk management, and secure currency operations. This will not only bolster the bank's functionality, but will also elevate its status as a leader in African banking, setting new standards for financial operations in the region. Regional benefits. The strategic location and modern design of the headquarters are expected to transform Ghana into a financial nucleus for West Africa. By potentially hosting the future regional central bank, Ghana could play a pivotal role in shaping monetary policy across the region. This could lead to more coordinated efforts in managing economic challenges common to the area, such as inflation control, currency stabilization, and financial crisis management. The presence of this headquarters can attract international financial institutions and businesses, leading to increased foreign investment and economic collaborations. 
the influx of businesses would create more jobs, drive technological advancements, and stimulate economic growth throughout the region. Symbolism of the project, uh, the new Bank of Ghana headquarters stands as a testament to Ghana's progress and its ambitions to be seen as a stable and forward-thinking nation. It reflects the country's development trajectory from a post-independence era to a modern, dynamic economy poised to take a leadership role in African and global finance. The building itself, with its sustainable design and cutting-edge technology, symbolizes Ghana's commitment to innovation and environmental responsibility. It demonstrates a readiness to tackle future challenges with advanced infrastructure that other nations might emulate. Conclusion. In essence, the completion of the Bank of Ghana's new headquarters is a landmark event that will significantly influence the economic landscape of Ghana and the surrounding region. It promises to enhance financial stability and foster economic growth by introducing a modernized approach to banking and finance management. As this project comes to fruition, it heralds a new era of financial leadership and economic opportunity for Ghana, setting a precedent for development and cooperation in Africa. This project is more than just a testament to Ghana's growth. It is a foundation for future prosperity.